Hi everyone, it's the Easter weekend and we trust in these difficult and, and very difficult times that you have a, a good, good weekend and that the essentials of the Easter story uh, would be all the more real to us all. Uh, we're getting used to hearing the word essential a lot these days, the essential work, essential services, um, just, yeah, essential journeys even. And we're having to distinguish between what is essential uh, and what is non-essential. And there's one thing about Easter, it really does focus us on the essentials of the gospel of the good news of why Jesus came and uh, let's make this weekend of really being a focus on gospel essentials. Paul put it this way in 1 Corinthians, he says this, he said, for what I received I passed on to you as of first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and that it appeared to Cephas and then to the Twelve. It, that magnificent work of Jesus on the cross through the resurrection, the plan of the Father that we're celebrating this weekend. And, and let's, let's be stirred again and, and let's be encouraged in that. And let's make the most of it. One of the other essentials that is always part of our walk with God is prayer. And last night we had the opportunity, and then a, a number of you joined in with the, this global concert of prayer. It was led by Mike Betts, who leads Relational Mission, and it was great to have Jeremy part of it as well, just leading a time of thanksgiving and uh, just encouraging us to worship. We had worship led from the UK, but also from the States. It was, uh, it, it, it was, I felt humbling actually and, and stirring hearing from Africa, hearing from India, you know, leaders there speaking about uh, their response in the midst of what's happening in this global pandemic. It was such a, a timely uh, and very well put together concert of prayer. I felt it was great the way they involved children and uh, and you felt in your in in your living room you could be part uh, and join together with 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 friends and believers literally across the world praying uh, if you weren't able to see it uh, as i understand it it's still available you can still access it on youtube and i would thoroughly recommend it 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 stirred faith and it and yet was as well was full of such godly wisdom um the way in to watch it is to it's called prayersofmany.org slash time as this okay prayersofmany.org slash forward slash uh time as this and if you go into youtube and just type that in it should all become clear okay if not if you go on facebook and go on the relational mission site uh, you'll get a link there that will help you so it will be it takes about an hour uh, depending on how long you pray it could be less than that you could you could watch it in 40 minutes but to be thoroughly recommended but as well as that um, a while back we just felt it would be good to actually have a, a, a period for us as a church to focus on prayer and we thought it'd be good to do a series of teaching on prayer uh, and to somehow link that to um, some other resources as well that help us to grow in prayer um, so that uh, as a church, we can be more effective uh, and fruitful in, in what God calls us to, to, in how God calls us to pray, but in what God calls us to pray for as well. So we'll be starting that um, a couple of weeks after Christmas, uh, after, no, <laughs> we've done a couple of weeks after Christmas, we've done that bit, okay, um, a couple of weeks after Easter, and, um, and, and obviously there's a timeliness to this now, you know, as this pandemic is, is so affecting, you know, the whole world. So please look out for that, it's uh, so a couple of weeks after, after Easter, 
and we'll be looking at how to pray we'll be looking at the theology of prayer we'll be looking at to be creative in prayer be looking at personal prayer corporate prayer and all sorts of different aspects of prayer let's come at these couple of months together let's see it as a school of prayer together let's see that you know amidst all the challenges of this time times that i believe one thing uh, very clearly god's doing is God's calling the church to pray. And I believe there's a responsibility for churches to rise up and pray, to pray for one another, uh, to pray for our communities, to pray for the government, uh, to pray for those on the front line who, who are really serving you know, the, uh, us all in, in combating this, this virus, uh, but also to pray for the spread of the gospel to pray for the breakthrough of the kingdom of God in these times. It, it, it's such a critical time to be praying. And let's, let's come at this next few months with uh, the, the heart of wanting to learn and, and, and be together in this. We'll, we will be together online, okay? <laughs> we need to get used to that. And uh, but let's learn together online how to pray and to grow in this. So, so that's a bit of a heads up. What's happening after Easter, not Christmas. Okay. Um, uh, okay, just one further thing. Uh, last week, I did a, did, did a similar encouragement and, and ended up with a book review. Um, this week, going to end up with a video uh, review. It's a, a video that it puts animation to uh, an inspired really reading that someone called Steph Liston did at New Day some years back now. And I think some of you would have been there, you'd have heard the, 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 the first time it happened. And it's quite an amazing, just big sweep of the gospel story in, in a very, just articulated in a very creative and powerful way. Anyway, since then, it's been put into a book and also a video has been made. And, and for this time, uh, the video is now available free and it's on YouTube. It's 14 minutes long. Again, I encourage you just to sit and watch it, not to have it on as background, but to really be quite deliberate in, in just, just hearing the big sweep of God's love story, of God, of the, of the gospel, of the good news. It, it, it wonderfully takes us to the cross and, uh, and obviously the resurrection. And it's so personal, it's so God-centered, it's, so, it's quite overwhelming, actually. And it would be a great view for this Easter weekend and uh and parents i'd encourage you to look at it i think it's it is appropriate you know for most children but check it yourselves first it, it's just so powerful uh so that is called um what's it called it's called he was and is and is to come that's he was and is and is to come by steph s-t-e-f listen and that is on youtube it's free it's 40 minutes trust me it, you won't regret it <laughs> in fact uh, try and not to watch it twice okay that's a challenge um so so i encourage you in that i say encourage you in i think you can access the the global prayer a, a concert i i did see it last night but i will look at it bits of it again i just found it very very helpful i felt that the section of praying for god to help you know scientists find a vaccine i found to be so wise how how you know might led into that and it yeah some very very good stuff and, and just yeah excellent as well as that we're meeting on sunday it's Easter Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection. Let's meet together online again, either by Zoom or, or, or YouTube. We'll be worshipping Jesus, we'll be celebrating. Let's come at that meeting together with real 
faith and uh, and a real desire to just worship Jesus. Wouldn't it be great if our hearts are full of praise, but also our households, just imagine that, our households throughout Cockermouth, throughout the villages and even beyond. So I know some people uh, are tuning in from, from much further afield and you're so welcome. But let's fill our households with worship. Let's declare this Jesus is alive. He's overcome. He's triumphed. He's the victorious one. He is worthy of all praise. And in the midst of this, just, just imagine households up and down this land literally being filled with praise. Okay, normally it's church buildings, but let's think of households filled with praise about this glorious Lord Jesus. Let's celebrate him someday. So it's, uh, it's 11 o'clock in terms of YouTube. I think it's 10.30. You can start signing in in terms of Zoom. But all the details are on our website. And, uh, and again, a huge, huge, huge thumbs up to, you know, to folks working very hard behind the scenes to make all this technology work. Finally, uh, we trust that you're all well. And we're praying regularly for protection. And if we hear people are not well, we're praying that God would uh, really touch them and just help you to recover quickly. Uh, but please let us know if you're not well so we can pray. Okay, that, that's something that we can do uh, as well. If there's something appropriate, practically we can do, we really want to help. Uh, just another word as well. I'm just so aware that there's, other people struggling with long-term sickness and health issues separate to COVID-19. Obviously, that brings a vulnerability to you, but also we just want to reassure you we're still praying for you, okay? Our prayers are not just locked into the virus, but we're, we're praying for some of these long-term battles with health that some of you have got. We're naming you. We're believing God's going to touch you. Please just be assured in that and be uh, and just know our love in that. OK, and also we're praying for those on the front line, NHS and other workers. We, uh, we're praying for you, we're just aware of those working pharmacies and, 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 and other very real essential services. Thanks so much for what you're doing, serving our community. Um, we're praying for you. So. Let's celebrate Jesus this weekend, okay? Let's uh, make the most of the essentials of the gospel. As Paul said, this Jesus died for our sins, but was raised on the third day. Let's be thrilled with this Easter message at this Easter weekend. Okay, great being able to communicate with you all much love from us all, you know, all the, uh, the whole leadership team. Uh, uh, much love and uh, looking forward to seeing you all Easter Sunday. Okay, bye.